finally. Oh, nice fish. Here at Castaic again. <clears throat> um, it's about 8 a.m., so I'm going to hit the water on the west ramp. See if I can't pull a few fish out. Um, if it's slow again, I'll probably move to the other side of the lake. Uh, there's just a lot more uh, area over there to, to fish. So I'm interested to see since they raised the water on that other side if the fish moved up a little bit. Anyway, that's it. Uh, same stuff. Drop shot, Senkos. Uh, Alright, I'm going to get on it. Little baby smallmouth. Okay, now you may not believe this, but as I'm walking down this path, okay, slowly walking, there's a little bird who is following me onto each rock, like every few feet, the bird would stop and tweet really loud at me, right, you know, a foot away, two feet away. And then I'd keep walking, he'd keep doing it, keep walking, he'd keep doing it. And at first I was like, that's just a coincidence. But then he stopped right at this rock, right where I was stopping, but that he stopped right in front of me and tweeted really loud, like almost where I could grab him. And I was like, okay, what is he trying to tell me? And look what he's trying to tell me. Right where the bird was is my good buddy, the rattlesnake. Looks like he didn't drown, went to high ground. Now he's just hanging out. And that bird was right there warning me. The bird was like right there. Right, where's my finger? Right there, warning me that that snake was there. I'm telling you, that may sound crazy, but it's not unheard of for animals to warn other animals that there's a predator nearby. So that's pretty cool. Just had a hit on the robo worm. But he let it go. Finally. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish. Oh, that's a beauty. Nice and chunky, too. Picture worthy. Awesome. I'm going to go hit this uh, other side here. I know it's midday, but... I've had luck around this time. So Yeah, this is new. We go across this little bridge. All to try to find a good spot. This whole area looks good. Get a shot. The bridge of death.
went all over that that lake on the main ramp and uh, nothing. So I'm going to try something different for a little while. I came down here to the lagoon and I'm going to try to fish the lagoon for a bit, see if I can't catch a couple. I heard a scratching over here. Looks like somebody got stuck in here. Come here. Come here. There's a squirrel in the trash. It's like he tore up the bag, tried to get out, and now he can't get out. My good deed for the day. You're good. Come in, come in. Come in. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a nice one. Thank you. All right, got this nice guy. Chunky. Man, that made my day. Beautiful. Wrapping up, it was an okay day. Caught a few fish. Literally, I caught three fish. Tiny little smallmouth and two bass. Uh, it's nice to go out with that last bass right before I leave. It always feels good to catch one before I go. But it was tough out there today. Um, I don't know why. The water level is outrageous. It keeps going up. It was, it was up just from where I fished this morning. I tried to go back there and I couldn't fish there because of the water. So it's pretty crazy. Um, it's my guess that the bass are still where they were two weeks ago when they were getting ready to spawn and some are starting to bed and stuff like that, which it's further down the water column now because they increased all the water because I'm not seeing any bass shallow. Uh, very few. Um, so, yeah, I think the water level is really affecting the bite. I think once it sort of stabilizes and this warm weather is, is, is coming around right now, uh, maybe they'll start to get a little bit more predictable and be able to find them off the points in the deep in the deep drop-offs, 20, 25 feet of water. Um, but I don't know. Uh, thanks to all the people that I run into on the lake that watch the videos. I really appreciate it. It's nice meeting you. Till next time, see you tomorrow.